Grace is the space of goodness. The space created by goodness? The space of goodness. The space within goodness? Mm -hmm. The space of goodness. <laughs> yeah. Some people call it compassion, others call it mercy. After eons of purification and this, this kind of grace manifests as the space of goodness. From so, so much practice of self-transcending spiritual intelligence or wisdom, what you have left is this presence of goodness which is the presence of grace, the space of grace. Does the space of grace have anything to do with Well, does it have anything to do with anything? Is it accessible? Does it have a relationship to us? Are we it? Are we not it? Mm -hmm. Why would we be concerned with the space of grace? Well, you know, <laughs> concern doesn't fit into it. <laughs> it's not about concern at all. Uh, the concerned, the concerned uh, are not interested in grace. Mm -hmm. Mm. as it is mm. because we can then bring in the word grace then is a space of openness yeah. openness implies vulnerability to the universe not just to who is near you or other mm. Mm. it's heart space then mm. Mm. Knowing the space of the heart is to be free of concern. Mm. In other words, knowing the space of openness is free of the concern for closeness. Mm. 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 And that is one of the points in meditation practice is to be content with just sitting there, not concerned. All of that has to be let go of, so there's nothing going on in your feelings, your ideas, there's nothing. No mind, no emotion, no memory, no karma is part of the process. It's what needs to be let go of. That's the baggage. Concern is big baggage, right, like, you know, huge baggage. <laughs> mm. And everyone's full of it until they understand what it is. And so, ideally, you go to your meditation cushion when the time comes and shed all the concern. Uh, mm. You feel your grace of space. Well, you enter it, you embrace it, and say, I'm nothing after all. So, I am Buddha nature after all. It's void of suffering. Mm. Mm. And you sit with that simplicity. Mm. And you forget about that at the same time. As soon as you think it, let it go. Mm. And you're left with this boredom. That's the bridge to enlightenment. We've talked a lot about theory and a lot about things 
that are seemingly there to know. It's, it's all theoretical. All talk is theoretical. Yeah. 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 It's like the uh, medium for analysis and thinking see, for most people. Yeah. And practitioners need to know what that noise is. And know whether or not they're being created by it or they're creating with it. Most people are created by it. Don't think about that. Most people think they're creating when they're being created by everything. So the process of mm -hmm. explaining, the process of understanding, mm -hmm. is then definitely a part of going beyond explaining and understanding and knowing about anything in particular? Well, we have to know that there's no going. <laughs> there's no going and no coming or going. Well, there's the appearance of it, but it's not whatsoever. It's now, mm, for real. Uh, the word now is being present. Mm. And there's a lot of simplicity and silence. It's a lot of boredom in that. Just here now. Boom. quite difficult to realize. Mm -hmm. But it's the basis. Mm -hmm. Is the just here now a negation of anything? Mm -hmm. It's the acknowledgement of everything. Uh, the all, it is. Mm -hmm. It's not just anything, it's the everything, the whole thing, and that's nothing. Yeah. The beyond description. Mm -hmm. Gone. Gati. Done. Mm -hmm. Psst. Mm -hmm. Beyond knowing or thinking about anything to do with Dharma. Mm -hmm or practice, or explanations, what is there in terms of practice? In terms of practice? Enjoying that. Living from that, if you can look to to, see, to prove that to yourself. So we are the true nature, right? minus all the baggage, all the compression of karma. Mm -hmm. But who can even imagine breathing free of that? let alone practice very few. Those who have practiced can do it more easily than those who have no clue, who are being used by, that is, they are the effect of karma, not creating karma. No. They're adding to the stream of karma by being the effect of karma and not knowing it. Identifying with it and assuming that's who they are, for real. And in their minds they are that. And only that, therefore they are suffering. Mm. Is there karma of being beyond karma? Or is all karma karma for well, its own There's sake? no karma, and then it's all karma. Hmm. Hmm. Does one... They coexist. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have the conventional and you have the unconventional. Mm -hmm. You have the ordinary, then you have the extraordinary, as it's called. Well, mm -hmm. You have the Hinayana, as it's called, and then you have the Vajra, or the Ultra Vajra, or I call it the Agni Shamyana. 
which is Super Zero. <laughs> like, big joke. God. Mm, sound. So only the mechanical function of self-limitation creates suffering. <clears throat> Limitation is suffering. Mm -hmm. The dissolution of suffering, yeah, anxiety, concern, worry, doubt, confusion, all the rest of it, yeah, lights the way. In other words, the elimination of the baggage of self-concern. It's a whole universe. People, are, selves are concerned. The self is concerned with everything. Everything is a concern to the self. And on the flip side of that, selflessness means you're free to do whatever needs to be done. So, from the deepest part of one's being. Boom. Playing. Mm. Mm. Whatever. Singing. Mm. Being used by the innermost being to spontaneously express what it is of itself. Song, maybe. Mm. Sound. Light. Silence. You name it. <laughs> mm. Is there, um, is there anything inherent in a tradition, a spiritual mm. tradition, that causes that tradition to fade in its immediacy and effectiveness mm. over time? What condition are you speaking of? Um, if we take a couple examples, Christianity, Judaism, mm. Mm -hmm. Buddhism, Hinduism. Mm. Mm -hmm. Do these traditions necessarily yeah. lose their heat, well, lose their, their effectiveness their, their, their over names, time? Their names for baggage and the accumulation of baggage in the name of religion, yeah. but they're not enlightenment. Mm. Everything then is seen as wood for the fire. So, what are their beginnings? Yes, there are beginnings. Are there beginners? Yes, there are beginners. Yeah. And they have to become uh, conscious or cognizant of what needs to be burned because they don't know that anything needs to be burned, especially themselves. They don't know that everything they say, think, feel, know, recognize, memorize, or whatever, are aware of, needs to be burned. Mm -hmm. Given up, let go of. So just sitting doesn't appeal to them at all. <laughs> so what? What's me? <laughs> Sit like a rock? You a cuckoo. <laughs> There's nothing to be gained by that. Precisely. No more karma to be gained by it. Right? That very gesture is a suspension of identification with all karma. Mm -hmm. There is an inner wind. It's a great wind. A right, peace wind. A peace, grace wind. Right. The wind of liberation. It's unfettered. It's just always here. Mm. And as it has been said, it can do what needs to be done better than the self can. So to prove it to oneself, you need to let it work. First recognize what it is, if you can, and accept what it is as itself, the itself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some would call it its ownness. Mm -hmm. 
or as we call it, the spirit, mm. or the Tao, or the Shant, mm. Mm. or the divine, mm. Mm. and it's flight. It's like it's flight. It flies. So, mm. So when one slows down their processes enough to distinguish that from their self-effort, they may be a step closer to the realization of what that is, in their own case. Which is what the stillness of practice enables one to apprehend in the moment. And that is the distinction between what was self and then what is its own ness. Mm -hmm. It is source uh, out of which everything arises. Mm. Unclung to, everything is used by source as itself, for itself by itself, free yeah, of limitation and imposing egoic conditions. They don't exist at source. It's a free wind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everyone originally is and everyone reverts to in their cycle of sleep. I go back to source. Mm -hmm. Zero. Right the true itself, which then is called unconscious. So, which has to become superconscious, properly understood as selfless in nature, is superconsciousness. When the conscious is super conscious, it uses everything and it, it all happens of itself. Then nothing happens. <laughs> Let us call it awakening by kiss. A little tap. And that's all it takes to ignite the, the sense of the stream of life. The spirit of knowing without head machinery, heart knowing, uh, realization. Mm -hmm. The intuition is there in everyone. So it's, so who dares to awaken from that kiss, that tap? See that little touch. So the whole human race knows about enlightenment. They've heard about it. They heard about the Buddha. <laughs> They've heard the stories of Jesus and his attempt to enlighten his own people. Mm -hmm. They've heard about the so-called miracles of his yogic functioning, mm -hmm. transforming this, that, and whatever. I've heard about it. Mm. But they don't know that that applies to them, so they didn't open to it because as you hear it, you can actually be touched and awakened just by the impulse. <clears throat> he's not talking about himself or the people of his time, he's talking about <laughs> everyone. Everyone is the same one. The manifestations of the same one. Everyone is the potential of the spiritual enlightenment. It's there. Everyone has their moments of happiness, right? their exhilaration, their epiphanies, yeah. their psychic and spiritual orgasms, they have them. Right? For no reason can happen. Right? You feel exhilarated, elevated, ascended for the moment, and we settle down. Sometimes it's with the three million dollar check. You say, 
oh my goodness, <laughs> it happened to me, right? And that's as high as they get right there. They think they gained something. They gained responsibility. Uh, hasn't changed anything. Mm -hmm. What we're talking about is this delicate little kiss of light, and everything changes thereafter. Mm. Because the correspondence and the condition of resonance is such way as a straight line. Mm. And the moment you see the beginning and the end, mm. and you know your infinity, not as a body, but as intelligence. Mm. And you say, ah, you relax finally, and you walk in peace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> when beings are in the mode of effect, being affected by everything, influenced, let's say under the influence, the massive influence of culture, let's say, mm -hmm. Selflessness does not necessarily arise in that context. It has to be earned in a certain way, it has to be seen and recognized. Most people who are effect are okay with the fact, and they don't want to be more than effect. It's okay, they're okay with culture, they don't want to be more than culture. They want to be accepted, so that means you have to be in effect, effect. As soon as you go beyond the fact and you start being cause and you go against that to a certain degree, uh, you say, no, I refuse to be the effect of that. I am now I'm the cause of that, creating other effects. And therefore you have something which is called the creative the alternative. Uh, that can happen. That's part of the awakening process. And you wake up one day and say, I am not going to do that anymore. I'm going to do it this way. Huh? I feel I have to do it this way. And you do it that way. Not so much for self, it appears to be self, but it could be the universe calling you to do it for itself, in the name of yourself, which doesn't exist in the universe at all. <laughs> and you're just responding. He likes that one. <laughs> that's good. It's true. When it calls, that's the itself calling us. We're looking up into the sky. Uh, nobody's telling us to do that, but we look up in the sky and we feel home. Uh, I am this vastness. Well, not everybody says that, but it's like, yes, this is it. I am here. This is life. This is truth. This is nature. This is the cosmos. Uh, this is my environment. Uh, this is who we are. Uh, all of this is part of the awakening. Uh, and so we appear to be making a selfish, selfish declaration. No, it appears to be that. See, but that's what the awakening is. The illusion of self melting into acceptance of reality itself. So we all participate in the paradox of the unconscious and the real conscious, just conscious mind. We don't even say self-conscious, it's conscious mind. We are that, we are breathing that, it's breathing us. Let's say, we're not sure, it's just happening. Your life is just happening, actually, right, unfolding. There's nothing you can do to stop it, like your heart or no. right, your brain waves. You can't stop them. You, you can acknowledge them, but they're, they're the goingness, right? the livingness of your own being that began at birth from the ancestry to have a lifespan of its own. And that interval between birth and death, where you realize your infiniteness, not your somethingness, but your nothingness, everythingness. So you're completely that, 
to this, that womb to the tomb. You see that? And you awaken beyond that because our nature is to awaken beyond every form. And we say, I'm beyond this and that now. I'm beyond that thought and this thought and whatever other thought may come of itself. Beyond that, all of it. We are beyond form. So we are the original spirit of formless reality. Every moment does away, but we don't perceive that and experience it beyond appearances or forms. We are being, being, which is what it is. Being, being. What is it? Being, being. Mm -hmm. Just being, being. The great being, being. Does everybody who knows teach? No, not necessarily. It teaches because it knows. Well, yeah. We are being embodied and Well, maybe I have this wrong, but the embodiment mm -hmm. that we are is connected to all kinds of culture, mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. convention, mm -hmm. and so forth. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. um, that is also the embodiment mm -hmm. of being, but the key is mm -hmm. to see mm -hmm. the being that we're the embodiment of mm -hmm. without being... Mm -hmm sort of covered over and... The embodiment, constrained. without being the embodiment. Just the Precisely. Embodiment, yeah. Just body, right? We are the uh, body of infinity, right? Uh, so we're not particularly anybody. Right? Or we are any. We are body. everybody. <laughs> At that level, it's everybody. Right? The all. Mm. Not the interchangeable, the anyone? It could be interchangeable, that's in the middle. That's the transformational aspect of it. Yeah. Yeah. That is here. The dot for that is here. Yeah. The heart. Yeah. Within the heart, within the heart, ad infinitum to the beyond atom, subatomic particles, whatever, prior. Right, to nothing. And then the nothing is the all. Yeah. The all is the nothing. Yeah. And beyond nothing. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. can be here. That is there. But yeah. it can have a voice from here. It speaks for itself, yes. From silence you can speak of it. From love, you can speak of it. Yeah. From tragedy, you speak from it. So from bliss, you speak from it. Every powerful emotion can be expressing itself as it must yeah. so for its balance, its stasis, its, its resolution. Yeah. It's a wave, like a tsunami. And it, hmm. it doesn't stay because it's not real. It disappears. Everything appearing disappears by law. It's a wave. A particle wave series, and we are beyond both. We are just the is beyond any particular particle. That means the all particle or the no particle. The all wave or the no wave. It's all relative to heart. Awareness, center, call it center, selfless center, right? infinite center that speaks of itself and therefore all enlightened beings in one form or other express what it is of itself to each and every self that comes to it. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. 
what we're talking to as it relates to the drums in my experience, um, in particular drums here, mm, well, is, yeah. mm. is that um, it's not a process of analysis or of um, free meditation. It, it's uh, mm. the music unfolds mm. f of itself for itself. It's informed by itself mm. and what I think and what I am mm. are there only in support, but not to create anything. Mm. Um, but to allow the creation to arise of itself. Yes. From source, as each one is channeled for source of itself. So you hear the language, right? source of itself. Mm -hmm. right? Very clear. Given an opportunity, it manifests itself. Right? Depending on the clarity of the individual, mm -hmm. it must use the clear. Therefore, enlightenment is often considered the clear light mm -hmm. realization. Mm -hmm. And in this context, it seems very free flowing. Clear sound realization. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There seems to be an idea that enlightenment is reaching a certain depth mm -hmm. where what you just mentioned is that there is no certain depth to reach. Mm -hmm. well, there's infinite deepness. It's infinite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Immeasurable vastness. Mm -hmm. and so one doesn't necessarily get themselves to that level. Mm. Mm. There's no way to get to. See, it, it's not within the realm of perception. Mm. Getting or gotten or neither. Mm -hmm. It's more in the realm of isness. When it is being, is, is being itself. The is being itself. Huh. I just mentioned that this this clarity, this directness, this immediacy, this mm. is being itself mm. is here right now. Mm -hmm. Always. It spoke of itself already, mm. made itself clear. Mm. Mm. How is it here now and apparently mm. not? Mm other times and elsewhere. It's always here now. Mm. If it is what it is, it can only be here all the time, and so it's eternally present. Being, mind, is being itself. Mm. It's not about time. Mm. It is the now. It's only the now. Mm. There's no else way out. As far as, far as it goes, it's present. It's true. It's real. It's here. It's being. Mm. Mm. Itself. Mm. Mm. What or who isn't here to allow for this? Everyone. <laughs> 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 well, it, it's not dependent upon anyone for its being. See, see, we're talking about being in a situation of satsang where we can discuss it and be open to it, but our next door neighbors may not be so disposed to even understand the language that is being used to imply or refer to what it is beyond self-thought, mind, the world. See, mm -hmm. so we are in the grace of what it is. See? in sympathetic reson resonance to what it is, uh, uh, feeling it, uh, 
intuiting our fundamental emptiness and nothingness in truth. Allowing language to come from its depths to validate its presence and speak for itself, as itself. Peace. You were just saying something about it's not about your attention. It's not about anyone's attention, exactly, precisely. It's not about self at all. It's not about self-attention or non-self-attention. It's not about that. So whether we are looking at each other or just feeling the presence of each other, doesn't matter. It's just here. It's just here. It's presence. Close your eyes, it's still the same presence. Doesn't change, it just relaxes your eyeballs. <laughs> or your ears. <laughs> the presence of being is selfless by nature. We can share and, and, and coordinate and resonate. It's not for anyone particularly. Like feeling the presence of the walls, it's not for anyone, but it's present. Or the floor, your socks, you know. It's not a big deal. Or your underwear, for that matter, who cares? <laughs> now, there are other, let's say, activities where in some traditions, like with a guru, you have eye contact, and that is transmissional. That can be. That's deliberate, let us say. It's not self-deliberate. It's it's self-deliberate. It's no self-deliberate, yeah, in some cases. Yeah. Yeah. And within a phase, it just goes. It's, just, it's without meaning and without purpose. It's just like eyes looking into the sky. Boom. And the sky is looking back into you, but you know that doesn't necessarily register. It sees you seeing. Mm. Mm. And if it is being seen, it doesn't care. <laughs> it couldn't care less. <laughs> so it's least caring. It's not about caring. The heart cares. See, the heart is different from the itness of itself. See? And it's not that it's more personal, see? it's more communicational, it's more deliberate in a manner of speaking. See? It's like an opening, see? but it's not personal. It's not expecting, there's no, it's just like tree to grass, right? earth to moon. Just awareness, presence. Mm. It's not personal. And if you think there's someone there, you reach for it, it disappears. Because only you are there. Mm. Ultimately, it's only you. You're, you're being there. <clears throat> and no being there. The isness of God itself, the, the total. Mm. Say the unis, universe, uh, beyond the universe. Uh, the, 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 the God of beyondness. The, The 
the being of formless being isness also known as emptiness in certain schools radiance Compassion, same thing, all the same. same. Solar nature, Guru nature, heart nature, all the same. Being original, impersonal nature and manifesting in personal forms of application, communication. I am that I am. And, but who knows that? Who is that I am? It is. Goes on and on, on infinitum. And it becomes the language of the spheres, the language of the total, the language of the real. And no one, the real who is no one, the total, the one itself. Is, are we also talking about heart nature? That was mentioned in the listing, yeah. That is heart nature. Different terms meaning the same. Some terms suit some beings and other terms suit other beings. Sometimes the heart is seen as emotional in nature, so psychic and devotional. And sometimes uh, when we're using other terms, in terms of itself, it's not emotional, it's not chesty at all, it's not bodily at all, it's a <laughs> gone. Total, expanse, vast. And then you can combine them, vast, heart nature. Yeah. Infinite heart nature. Language to open the mind, intelligence, and the psyche to the vastness of what it is as origin of all. Yeah. Mm. Spirit source, God source, enlightenment source, all the same. Poof, God, mm. no source. Mm. Gone is emptiness, mm. no singness, mm. mm -hmm. exactly, mm. nothing to grasp, nothing to hold on to, void, mm -hmm. and beyond void, because void is a concept, so it can be void. Yes, be beyond void, mm. beyond, beyond, therefore. Mm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> mm. Mm. The practice is to stay there, in Gati. Mm. Don't descend from that station, platform, or understanding. Cosmically speaking, stay there. Abide as such. Speak from there. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.